Welcome back, Dr. Novels here with Evidence-Based Exercises for Common Complaints. Today we're going to look at spinal accessory nerve damage. So this is usually something that happens from a traumatic event. Um, you go to your medical provider and they diagnose you, diagnose you with a spinal accessory nerve damage. Um, these conservative exercises can be supportive in getting the, the nerve to heal once again. The first exercise is called the TYI scapular depression exercise. You want to lay face down on a table or on your bed with your arm hanging off the side. Then bring the arm out to the side so the wrist is in line with the shoulder. Lower the arm down. Then bring the arm up to the diagonal, lower the arm down, and then bring the arm straight up overhead, lowering the arm down. The next exercise is called the external rotation doorway stretch. Stand in a door using the uh, shoulder that's been compromised, bend the elbow and place the hand onto the doorway. Then begin to rotate the body, keeping the elbow as close into the side as possible until you feel an external rotation through the shoulder. The next exercise is the low row. Get some small weights, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, elbows bend in towards the side, and then straighten the arms, and then pull with the arms. Continuing this exercise doing rows. The next exercise is glenohumeral internal rotation. Go ahead and place a towel or a strap on the shoulder that's injured, and then reach back behind you and take hold of the strap or the towel. Using the opposite arm, reach up and over, taking hold of the top of the towel, and then begin to straighten that upper arm until you get an internal rotation stretch from the glenohumeral joint of the compromised arm. Be really gentle with yourself. Don't pull too hard with that top arm. The last exercise is called cane flexion. Go ahead and place the palm of the hand of the compromised shoulder on the end of the cane or the dowel or the broomstick. And then with the other arm, begin to push that arm up towards the sky, coming all the way up into flexion with the arm. Don't push too hard, don't overdo it, be gentle with yourself. We're just trying to floss the nerve, the spinal accessory nerve, and get it working properly again. These are great exercises for helping to heal the spinal accessory nerve. Sometimes the exercises don't work and you're gonna need uh, somebody to assess the shoulder and figure out what in addition to the spinal accessory nerve injury is going on and then they can recommend uh, additional supportive measures, uh, including the exercises. But if you're self-diagnosing and trying to figure out what's going on, I hope that these exercises can be helpful. If you're doing the exercises, you wanna start with about three sets of five reps. If the exercises are working, you can increase that up to 10 reps of each one of the exercises or each side, depending on if you're doing them. It's nice to do both sides just for symmetry, even if you don't have an injury in the opposite shoulder. I hope that you found these exercises helpful and I hope that they help you heal your shoulder. Thanks so much for watching.